Hey everybody, Zerobyte here. I'm making this video to announce that Z Sound is now available in C for the Commander X16. In case you don't know, Z Sound is my library which makes it easy to put audio in your programs on the Commander 16 without having to know all of the underlying details of how the hardware works. It was written, it's written completely in assembly, and if you weren't very comfortable programming in assembly, then that might still present a barrier of entry, but C being a little bit easier to work with gives you more options to get your your creativity onto the system with the audio. And one of the core components of Z Sound, besides the library itself that runs on the system, is the sound formats that it uses. Z Sound has three primary formats. There's ZSM, which is the music file format. ZCM, which is basically WAV files for the Commander 16, just the much simplified header. And then there's ZFX, which is the sound effects format, which I've got in the library. Unfortunately, at this time, that library, that portion of the library is not very well developed. It's pretty much in its infancy. There aren't any tools yet to, to generate ZFX files. You can code the data in the format in your, your project manually, but um, more of that will come in the future. So for the rest of this video we're going to focus on ZSM and ZCM. And since it's really easy to use the library and really quick to make a basic program in C, I thought I would do a quick demo of making an audio enabled application for Commander 16 from scratch while you watch. So without any further ado, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is in our project I've got a, a basic skeleton here as you can see, I've actually got a ZCM and a ZSM file in advance just so as soon as I'm done with the program, we can hit, hit run and see it work. And after, after that, I'll go into a demonstration of how to generate these resources as well. But um, the only other thing I have that's code-wise is this uh, util.asm. The, the vsync routine in CC65 is broken for Commander 16 right now, so I've just have a, a wait for vsync routine and assembly in this. Um, so the first thing you can do is in your zsound um, installation just do a make lib and it builds and then what I'll do is just copy those into this project directory so that'll be zsound live zsound.live to here copy and of course you'll need the includes as well. So now let's switch into the compiler or into the editor. Okay, so the first thing we do is set up our includes here for ZSound. We have zsmplayer.h and we have pcmplayer.h and ZSound, each one of those is a separate module. We're also going to put in some standard libraries for CBM H that'll do the loading routines we need and we'll also do um, conio.h for the wait for key press and that should be enough for the libraries. Now we'll make some definitions for the loading routines. We'll say music name is going to be hello.zsm and we'll say PCM name, we'll call that one Doberman.zcm because we already have a file named Doberman. And then um, we'll say music bank, we're going to load that one to bank one. Whoops, that needs to be pound define, use bank one, pound define PCM bank, and we'll go ahead and make that bank eh, 16 just to leave a lot of room for music. And then say uh, um, define load to and every bank we're going to load it to a thousand, and um, we'll make some defines for the the load routines as well. Set name uses those names, and we'll say set lf in to zero. Define device eight and define. SA2, and the reason we use 2, Commander X16 latest kernel actually as of version R40 gives you the ability to load files that don't have the 2-byte PRG header, and the Z sound files don't 
of those two byte headers, so you need to use SA of two to signal the load routine to load them, load them that way, like the binary. And so now we'll say define mode, and that would be um, if you wanted to load to VRAM, or then that would be a two or a three. And I think that'll be it for the de definitions. And uh, let's go ahead and get started on our our main routine. And the first thing we do is load everything. Well, one thing we'll need, uh, I want to be able to toggle the music off and on. So we'll define a character for playing, initialize that to zero, and then we'll say um, CBMK, if I can type, CBMK set nam to let's load the music first, use name. Set LFS, that'll be LFN device SA, and that's where we signal the headerless load. And then the next thing we need to do is set the RAM bank to be the music bank because the load routine begins at the bank that's selected when you call it. So that's how we choose the bank CBMK load, and that's where we say mode. Uh, load 2 and that will load the music and we'll just copy paste this here and do the same thing for um, PCM PCM name and that will be PCM bank load and load 2 so the files at this point are loaded next thing we need to do is initialize Z sound <coughs> each player is initialized separately so Z ZSM init and PCM init. And now we'll just make our, our program that waits for us to toggle the keys. So all true, we'll just loop. And <clears throat> one thing I have not yet defined up here is our uh, VSync stand in. So it'll be a X turn so that it loads from the assembly file. Next turn void fast call vsync and that'll just tell the program to wait until the end of the frame so that way we get a nice uh, 60 hertz playback tick rate so we'll just say vsync then to play music and sound effects you just say PCM play once per frame and ZSM play once per frame and that's actually enough to make the music play. We can trigger it right here and it would just play. But we want to make it where you can press keys. So we'll say if KB hit. And that comes from the CBM conio.h library. So if a key was pressed, depending on the, the key they pressed, we'll do something. So we'll say case say spacebar toggle will trigger a sound and that'll be uh, PCM trigger digi and it's going to be located at PCM bank load to and uh, that's all we gotta do to play a digital sound effect um, next we'll say enter will make the music toggle. Let's say if playing and we want to stop it. CSM stop music. Let's we'll say playing equals zero. Else say CSM start music. And again it'll be at the music bank and load to and playing equals one. Then we'll just throw in an extra case here. I need to put break on that. And uh, case will save and press escape. So that's CH stop. And that'll we'll just stop everything. ZSM stop music. And PCM stop. Playing equals zero. And that will 
be our whole program right there. So we'll save that, and then we'll go back out and compile it. Okay, and you may have noticed that I made a couple of um, syntax errors in here. I forgot to put this void on main, and I forgot a semicolon down here. So having fixed those errors, let's go ahead and build the program. We'll switch back out to the command line, and to build it, it's just CL65-T till it commander x16 is the type. We'll put a dash capital O for optimize. We'll output hello.prg. We'll use hello zsound.c util.asm and the all important zsound.live. And so it builds. Let's see how it runs. PRG hello.prg dash run and really important here RAM 2048 because we need more RAM for the PCM here. And it runs. We press enter to start the music. And the music is playing. And we press space bar for the digital sound. There's that. Of course the dog bark and the music can play at the same time. No problem. And space bar on the finger. Sometimes the emulator injects that Yes. I think that's an emulator problem, not a real hardware issue. And just stop it all. There we go. That is the program. And <clears throat> of course the next issue becomes where do all these media files come from? Right now I just had the, the media files Doberman ZCM and Hello ZSM sitting here so we could get up and running as quickly as possible. The PCM is fairly easy to do. We have a, a tool in ZSound called um, ZCM tool. It's a Python script. And if we look in the resource directory, you see I started off with this MP3 um, Doberman by Daniel Simeon. It's a uh, Creative Commons by attribution license. I'll put the link in the description. And um, I went ahead and used FFmpeg to convert it to WAVE. Um, and so now you can just use zcmtool.py and um, that'll be resource Doberman dot wave and you can say dash i and it'll tell you the information about it you see it's pcm 16 bit stereo 44 khertz and what we'll do is you can say dash o and specify a file name or if you just do nothing it uses the same file name all caps with zcm instead and we'll see that it's converted it to 22 khertz by default you can um do dash H and see that there are command line options to choose different bit rates and uh, sample rates and so forth. But that's that's really all there is to making a, a ZCM file. Making the music, um, we have a, a tool the, that converts from VGM into into ZSM, and we'll we'll show you that one now. I have um, in the resource we have the Blaster Master VGM. And it's just a PGM to ZSM resource blaster master.vgm. And I'll just call it, oh, what did I call it? Hello.zsm for this program. And it just outputs puts that. And this one is actually a Sega Genesis chip to not a YM2151 it was made in Deflamask. Okay, this is Deflamask. It's a tracker that's designed for making chip tunes, and you can use lots of different chips in it. This is the, the original tracker file for the Blaster Master you were listening to. And um, the astute observer will notice there's only six FM channels. And then there's these four SN channels. That's because this is a Sega Genesis chip tune. The VGM2 ZSM tool was able to convert from Sega Genesis to the Commander X16. And it actually uses Vera PSG for 
of the three square waves and the one noise channel in the um, in the Sega Genesis style chips. Of course, Deflamask can also do what they call arcade mode, which is the YM2151, which is what the Commander 16 has natively. But of course, that doesn't support any of the PSG channels. Um, the way that you get music out of Deflamask is really easy. You just go in here, save as a VGM, and then you use the VGM to ZSM tool that I demonstrated just a moment ago. Now there's also a newer a newer tracker available called Furnace. And let's switch over to Furnace. This is Furnace. And Furnace is a newer chiptune tracker that's somewhat similar to Deflamask at the beginning, but it supports many more chips than the than Deflamask does, including the Commander X16 Vera. So what we'll do in this one is I'll open a chiptune I demonstrated in my previous video, Green Biker Dude. And when we open this one here, you'll see that it's got all of these channels for Vera, and it's also got the PCM channel, but unfortunately my, my ZSM driver does not yet support the PCM channel. Here's that song. And interesting you can just see it doing all the they have the oscilloscope viewer you can see all the different PSG channels supported in here now, obviously you can't export the furnace directly to VGM because Vera is not a chip supported in, in uh, the VGM format so what I've done is I've actually coded an export routine for ZSM directly into my own fork of of furnace and any any tune that you have open that has either the YM2151 or Vera you'll see the export ZSM option <clears throat> so what I can do here is export this and I'll just overwrite hello ZSM directly from from furnace and now when I switch back over to the emulator you'll see that that tune has changed so let's uh, go back to here and this time, instead of running it with um, with uh, the official emulator, I'll run it with Box 16. And that's just because Box 16 has some interesting uh, debug windows that that you can see the music playing in here. So we'll do it with Run, and of course, don't forget the RAM 2048. And the program runs, and this is the the Vera monitor here. So now that it's running, I can hit enter to start music. And now you see all the music coming up in here. When I hit spacebar, the dog barks. You can see that here. Uh, escape to stop everything. And uh, enter to start the music over again. And that's been the demonstration for Z Sound using C. And a little bit of demo of the tool chain to get materials into your programs. I hope you've enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.